today we're going to talk about activity and half-life. So, radioactive substances will emit radiation from the, from the nuclei of their atoms, no matter what happens. It's what radioactive substances do. Now, this radiation that they emit can be measured using a Geiger-Muller tube and counter. This records the count rate, that is, the number of ionizing radiations reaching it per second. Radioactive decay is an entirely random process. You cannot predict which nucleus in a sample will decay next, but you can predict how long it will take for half of the nuclei in a sample to decay. The time it takes for half of the nuclei in a sample to decay is known as the half-life of a sample. And this half-life is unique for each different radioactive isotope. Now, half-life can be used to find the rate at which a source decays. The rate at which a source decays is known as the activity of that source. Now, activity is measured in becquerels, that is, now, one becquerel is equivalent to one decay event every second. Now, I hope this uh, has been informative. This is only the first video that we'll spend talking about half-life. Um, next lesson, we'll look at how you can uh, find half-life using a graph of count rate over time, or a graph of number of remaining nuclei over time. And in a, f in a future video, we'll look at calculating half-life from activity results. Hope this has helped. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments section or uh, pop and see me in school. Goodbye.